Hello everyone, this is Dave the Prayer Guy. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I am all about prayer, especially missional prayer. My vision is fueling God's mission with prayer. And what I mean by God's mission is found right there in the Great Commission of making disciples and helping them to grow. You know, so we definitely want people to be saved, but we don't want to leave them at the altar of salvation. And we want to help our current Christians to kind of grow to Christian maturity as well. So, you know, that's what I believe God's mission is right there from the Great Commission found in Matthew. And so if you've been watching this video for a while, you know that I like to teach on this idea called missional prayer, leading people to fuel God's mission with prayer and really being an encouragement to that whether praying what whether you are praying for your own ministry or your family or your church or you're praying for a missionary somewhere around the world that my hope my encouragement is to to you is that you be praying for God's kingdom to be advanced while you're praying for those people that that would be your lens your filter as you're praying for people so, and also I talk a lot about special prayer days. You know, if you've been on here before, you've probably seen a video on 10 days of prayer and on days praying for college campuses. And so today is no different. I'm getting on to talk about the International Day of Prayer for the Persecuted Church. It's on Sunday, November 6th this year. And so it will be a day that we will put aside to pray for the persecuted church. And I know some churches around the United States and probably around the world as well will do something special as the, to mark this day to pray for the persecuted church um, because there are brothers and sisters around the world who are being persecuted simply because they're following Jesus, simply because they made that decision to follow, to follow Jesus, to be his disciple. And so they're going to need our prayers for strength to be faithful to Christ in the midst of suffering, um, prayer that they'll find time, find resources, you know, the Bible, to spend time in prayer and to learn about Jesus through his word, to spend time with Jesus, and also that they would be able to share their faith even though they're in a hostile area, that they can they can do their part to advance the kingdom. And, and so so this is just some of the some of the reasons why I like to pray for them that they'll be do this. And one more thing that I would pray for them, for those who are being persecuted, that they would be willing to pray for those that are persecuting them. You know, Jesus does say, you know, to pray for people that are persecuting us. And so that can be a hard thing, especially if you are actually being persecuted. That is a hard thing to do to pray. Um, to pray for people that are that are harming you, that don't want you, that don't want the best for you, actually want some some really hard bad things for you, but Jesus does tell us to to pray that. I also pray for those that are persecuting the church um, because I think about Paul. Now, if you remember Paul, he was once named Saul, and he went around and he persecuted the church. He went looking for believers. And did some really awful things to believers. But yet Jesus decided to save him. And then he became Paul. And he wrote many letters that we read today in the New Testament. Because he had a change of heart. And so I believe so much that if we pray in faith, that God will raise up more Saul's that are becoming Paul's more individuals that are persecuting the church to someday being part of the church and wanting to see the church grow and being an encouragement and will be doing stuff to advance God's kingdom. I believe that that can happen so much. So yes, let's pray for those who are being persecuted, but let's also pray for the persecuted, for the persecutors. Uh, I, I think we need to be praying for both. And November 6th is a good time to be praying for both. Okay, I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to look up and get more information on the International Day of Prayer for the Persecuted Church. Go check it out. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. And if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and God bless, and may the Lord be with you.